Tonight, Tampa Bay's largest school district is sounding the alarm about bad behavior on campus inspired by social media. Hillsborough schools urging parents tonight to monitor how their children are using their cell phones and social media apps. Justin Shecker is live for us outside Blake High School in Tampa with more on this story. Justin. Well, Jen, TikTok may be known for funny moments or choreographed dancing, but now the Hillsborough School District and schools nationwide are blaming challenges on that app for inciting potential criminal behavior. Are there any social media platforms that are the most problematic? I would say right now, TikTok. Both the Hillsborough County Superintendent and Sheriff say bad behavior in school because of a TikTok challenge won't be tolerated. It may all seem like a silly TikTok challenge, but trust me, it will have very real consequences. These photos of torn out toilets and damaged soap dispensers are from Seminole County Public Schools. Superintendent Addison Davis says Hillsborough students have vandalized bathrooms by ripping down sinks. Now, these challenges are causing harm to our facilities, causing potential harm to our employees, and we're just not, to be clear, we're just not going to, to accept it. This month, a devious licks challenge on TikTok is to slap a teacher. Whether it's vandalism, theft, or assault, Davis tells it on your side, students could face consequences beyond what's in the student code of conduct. The law, if it's going to be broken, we're going to address it in, in a collective manner. Megan Haynes from Sefner has a daughter in a Hillsborough Middle School. And they're posting their stuff that like fights, for instance, and it's getting them likes and it's getting them. It's horrible. She says it's the right call by the district to discipline students who photograph, record and share unacceptable behavior in school on social media. I don't feel that the kids need to have their phones at school anymore. I mean, period. Look, look, you know, 10 years ago, we didn't we weren't we were reprimanded if we had phones at school. And a letter from the superintendent to parents says the punishments could range from a schedule change to a 10 day suspension or even a possible expulsion. Now, if deputies are called to any of these Hillsborough County schools, they would decide if criminal charges are appropriate. Live tonight in Hillsborough County, I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.